it's silver forever this is another random mystery silver unboxing because i just don't remember what i ordered and i figured hell why not unbox it live on the channel so today we're going to be doing a mystery unboxing what i do remember is that i ordered a bunch of assorted rounds i think from silver gold bowl and we are going to bust into them and see what we have crack right into our little package here best guess we're gonna have seven rounds and that is because seven rounds with today's premiums and prices usually puts you over that 199 mark and that's what we're aiming for nowadays with the art of the $200 order those of you who have been around long enough can remember a day when $99 used to get you free shipping but those days unfortunately I believe are behind us and so there's a little sneak peek of some that we have. We have a bunch of coin flips here that we're going to crack into. There's a video I've been wanting to do for a long time and it's going to be coming out on the channel here soon. We are looking at silver from all over the world. And not old silver coinage that most countries used to use just as a basic monetary unit, but modern day silver bullion what the different offerings are. There's about six coins that kind of dominate, but today we're gonna to be checking out some cool and interesting offerings. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first coin that we got is a proof-like finish. It is the Bald Eagle, and you might think, oh, well that's clearly from the United States because the Bald Eagle represents the United States and guess what you would be wrong even though they have the United States here on the world's wildlife can anybody guess where this is from if you somehow guess that this was from the Democratic Republic of Congo then good on you because I would have never guessed I have to look up what these words mean I'm assuming that justice means justice Pax probably means peace and travail I don't know maybe something like overcome like win or something this is denominated in 20 francs. As you can see, it's a proof-like finish, and it is one ounce of four nines fine silver. So that's a cool first one, isn't it? We got the World Wildlife Series in the Bald Eagle. Second, we have a simple round. For those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know I'm not a huge proponent of generic silver rounds. Certainly not nowadays. I used to be a little bit more and I'm getting there again now that premiums are dropping. But I just kind of thought that this was a, a cool finish on the round. It looks really cool in person. Hopefully it's being captured on camera. And if you want to check out the opposite side, it's very simple. Pretty cool design here. Looks nice on the camera. Asahi, just a very common generic silver producer. They make big bars down to the one ounce Troy. Three nines fine silver rounds. So I'm sure that I grabbed this because the premium was so low. We also have a one ounce Royal Canadian Mint Dragon piece. I've seen this one for a while. It is fairly high premium, but there's good deals. Denominated as $5, 2019. And we have the cool dragon. It's just a fantastic looking coin. All right, on to the next one. This is one that I had never come across before. The Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark coin, where from you ask? From Armenia. The Republic of Armenia. Three nines fine, intricate seal here on the back. 500 dram, 2021, the Noah's Ark coin. Next up, we have an interesting one for you. It is fractional. It is the half ounce 2018 piece from the Royal Canadian Mint honoring the first special service force, i.e. the premier force de service special, if you want to pronounce it in French with a Spanish accent. Fractional silver, decent price, four nines fine. We got the maple leaf. This piece and the Special Service Force represents a marriage of sorts between the US and Canada, as is symbolized by the eagle and the maple leaf on either side of the arrowhead. All right, second to last piece for you guys, we have the Robin Hood. I've been looking at this piece for quite some time. It's kind of a high premium, but I also just like the way that it looks. And as I've told you guys before, I'm not a pure stacker. I'm not only looking for low premium. 
I like to collect this stuff as a hobby. I like to share with you guys on the channel. And so sometimes I make decisions about which silver to purchase that aren't necessarily 100% financial. Of course, we can never get away from the queen, but I do like this design. And of course, there are other Robin Hood-like designs that have come out in more recent months. This is three nines fine silver, 2021, from the Royal Mint of the United Kingdom. And last, but certainly not least, we have an Australian piece. Any guesses as to what this is? Four nines fine, we got a proof-like finish here. One Australian dollar from 2021. The piece is, look at the dragon. The second dragon piece that we have picked up. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this dragon better? Or do you like this dragon better? It's a dragon off. Any opinions from the group here? Do you have a preferred style of dragon? They're both one ounce coins. Of course, this one looks far bigger because it's in a wider diameter format and a capsule. Any preferences here? I really like the background on this Australian design. But in terms of just the dragon alone, I think I prefer the Royal Canadian Mint design. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing of a few random silver pieces. It was a cool way to share some neat designs with you, as well as add some new countries to my list for my upcoming video about stacking silver from all different countries around the world. And we're gonna go ahead and plot them on our little map that you see back here on the table. Really looking forward to that video and looking forward to all the cool things to come. If you enjoy the content, if you like seeing unboxings of cool new silver, gold, and even copper, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like on your way out and I hope you have a great day.